It's dance recital season. Miss Nevada pageant in Lake Tahoe and Jeremy Renner is bringing film to UNR? This is Cheek Late News. Welcome to Cheek Late News of Entertainment. I'm your news anchor, Alex Gum. Our top story. The Silent Disco is a fun and unique listening party experience with wireless headphones provided for guests. This is a free event at the Brewery Arts Center in Carson City. There's also free music, free drinks, and free food. This event will take place on June 10th at 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. once again at the Brewery Arts Center in Carson City. This Saturday is the annual Carson Valley Parade Day. This year's theme is Hawaii, also known as Aloha Carson City. So you may possibly see some palm trees, hula dancing, people wearing coconut bras and grass skirts, and more. And maybe pineapple on pizza, but don't get controversial. So, tomorrow, on June 8th, all the way through June 11th, of course, there's a carnival happening at Lampy Park in Douglas County in celebration of Carson Valley Days. This is an annual event. I think this is the 113th, I would say. This parade on Saturday is going to start around Esmeralda Avenue in Minden Park and will work its way on the highway all the way to Lampy Park. So make sure that you get to your best spots to watch the parade before the Douglas County Police Department shuts down some roads that leads to the parade. Bruca Theater of Sierra presents Kinky Boots. This is a story about stepping up, stepping out, and finding yourself on the journey. The show will run at the Bruca Theater and tickets are on sale now. The show runs on weekends of June 23rd through July 16th. You can go on to Brooklyn Theater's website to learn more about details on tickets and the show itself. Reno Little Theater is putting on a show featuring Dark Seuss characters you may know. Check out the theater cast, who is cool, which will take you to the jungle of Newell. There's a cat in a hat and an elven who hears a who. Also the Grinch and Gertrude too. This show does not run long, so it may not last. So if you want to see Seussical, get your tickets fast. Read a little theater, Seussical, his tickets are on sale now. Shows will run from the weekends of June 28th through July 30th at the Read a Little Theater's main stage. You can go onto their website for more details. It's that time of year for dance studios to host their own dance recitals throughout Northern Nevada. We're going to be starting off with these studios based on location. So first off, we have Reno. So far, we only know that Dance Unlimited is having their dance recital on June 14th at the DeMonte Ranch High School Theater. Then we have Bollies in Lake Tahoe Forever Dance will be hosting a recital on June 18th. Note to self that this is Forever Dance's 15th year in business. I can't believe it, 15 years. I've grown up with the studio all my life, and so hearing that they're around for 15 years, makes me feel a little bit older. And then finally, Bob Boldrick Theater is completely booked with dance recitals all throughout the month of June. And we're gonna list it out in chronological order, all about dance this Friday, June 9th. Creative Edge Dance Studio the day after, June 10th. Loft Dance, June 11th. And Fascinating Rhythms on June 17th. West Nevada Performing Arts Center on June 18th. Dance Workshop on June 24th to the 25th with a Cinderella theme. And finally, Vertical Dance on June 27th. If we forgot to mention any dance studio in Northern Nevada that is having dance recitals, let us know in the comments below. Last year, the Miss Nevada pageant was held at Bali's in Lake Tahoe. This year, it is back. 15 ladies compete for the crown of Miss Nevada 2023, and 12 teens compete for the crown of Miss Nevada's Outstanding Teen of 2023. These ladies will compete in a nonprofit pageant featuring talent, interviews, fitness, grace, and more. Also, there'll be some scholarships handed out as well as participation for People's Choice and the Photogenic Award. Whoever wins Miss Nevada will get the chance to go to Connecticut to compete for Miss America. And whoever wins Miss Nevada's Outstanding Team will go to Orlando, Florida to compete for Miss America's Outstanding Team. So who will win? You'll have to buy your tickets to find out. You can go on to the Miss Nevada organization page to learn more. Due to unprecedented pre-sales for West Nevada Musical Theater Company's Mary Poppins, they have added another matinee on Saturday, November 11th. The show runs on the weekends of November 3rd to the 19th. So go on to WNTC.com for the best seats 
early before they sell out. Also, we'll keep you updated about some details for auditions later in the summer. You do not want to miss this super califragilistic expialidocious production. Truckee Community Theater is holding auditions for some of their upcoming shows. First, they're having auditions for the Christmas Story musical on June 14th at 6 p.m. Adults and children are needed. The show will run from December 1st to the 10th, and they'll also have auditions for another show called Lone Star and Laundry and Bourbon. They are in need of three men and three women around the age group of 25 to 45. Auditions will be held on June 20th in the same location, and no bourbon is required. In the meanwhile, their show, How the West Was Done, will run from June 9th through the 10th, so this weekend, and tickets are still on sale. So be sure to go onto the website to learn more about what Truckee Community Theater is doing this year. And our last story for today, and probably the biggest story yet in Chigley News of Entertainment History. Actor Jeremy Renner, who is best known as Hawkeye in the Avengers, met up with the UNR president, Brian Sandoval, to talk about building a film studio at the campus in the University of Reno, Nevada, and growing academic programs in film in Reno. A couple of months ago, a Disney Plus show aired called Renovations, where Renner and a building crew refurnish large vehicles and buses for community projects, where they mainly have it in Reno. And they take it to other places around the world, like Chicago, Mexico, India, and more. It's a really great show. I just watched a couple episodes of that. And it looks like that Renner just had an interview with Reno Gazette Journal, and it seems like Renner wants to continue to bring good deeds to the community. And one of the things was talking about bringing film to Reno. Although nothing has been confirmed about any film studio yet, but it would make a huge difference and impact on young filmmakers in Northern Nevada and can bring more opportunities to film, shows, and other projects in Reno and all of Northern Nevada. Once we hear more updates about this new film studio around UNR, we will let you know on Chigley News of Entertainment. And those are your stories for today. We will be back with Chigley News of Entertainment on Wednesday, June 21st. Also, just want to let you know we are halfway to 1,000 subscribers. So if you can help us get to 1,000 subscribers, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when another video comes out. And if we forgot to mention anything else that is happening in Northern Nevada, let us know in the comments below. That is it for now, and until next time, we'll be back with some more. Cheekly News!